Hi guys! By now we have shown you every option you can add to your product using our Yahoo Commerce product add-ons and extra options plugin. So in this video I'm going to show you how to replicate one of the products that we have in our live demo, the custom post. We are going to be selling a copywriting service with lots of options that your customer will be able to choose from. They will be able to choose the topic, the length of article, the delivery date and more. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so for this video, as I told you, we're going to replicate one of the products that we have in our live demo, which is this custom post. We're going to create all of these options we're going to add drop down menus a checkbox a delivery date a text area the option to upload an image so this is what the product looks like right now it doesn't have any options any add-ons i'm going to go to the dashboard if product add-ons I'm going to add a block since I don't have any block created for that product and I'm going to name it copywriting now add options as we saw before the first three options were drop down menus so we're going to click on the select add-on which is the one that creates the drop down menus. And the first one was writing style. We're going to add three options to this first add on journalistic. I'm not going to change anything here. The price is not going to be different if the customer selects this option. Add new option label review add new option technical same for these ones we're not going to change the price if the customer selects these writing styles save let's create the other two drop down menus select add-on so the second drop down menu was a length of article. The first option is going to be zero to 500 words. If the customer selects this option, I'm not going to change the price of the main product. So I'm not going to change this. Add a new option. Now, if he selects from 501 to a thousand words I'm going to increase the main product price to a fixed amount of 10 euros save and let's add the third drop down menu select add on this one was the topic the first label is going to be politics or economy add new option sports fitness and health Food and recipes and movies or books. Save. Save. And now we're going to assign this block of options to a specific product rules. Show this block of options in specific products and categories. And the product I'm going to look for is custom post. 
I'm not changing this. I want this to be shown to all users. Save. And now let's go back to the site. Refresh. Great. So now I have my three drop down menus. Here are the style options, the length of article options, and the topics. Now back for my fourth add-on. The fourth was a checkbox. This checkbox had only one option. The title for the checkbox was CO Options. And the label was Yes, make it CO friendly. Let's add a tool tip here CO Option and a description. So Basically, I'm creating one checkbox as a CEO option for the customer. If the customer selects this option, I want him to pay a bit more for the post. So we're going to increase the main product price to a fixed amount of 25. But let's say that today this option is not 25 euros. I want this to be on sale for 19 euros right now. Save. Save. Back to the side. Refresh. And now I have my CO option, my checkbox right here. The tooltip CO option, the price of the option, but since it's on sale, it's crossed out and I have the sale price right here. Now I need to add a text area down below so that the customer can add his keywords if he decides to check this option. Back to the side, add options. And this is going to be the text area add-on. I'm not going to use a title, I am going to use a label and the label is going to be enter your keywords. I'm not going to add a tooltip nor a description for this one. I'm not going to change the price. Save. Save again. Back to the site, refresh. Now, here is my text area, but I haven't selected this option yet. If I select it, it's here, but if I deselect it, it's still here. So I have two issues here. One is that the text area is showing even though I didn't select the option to make it SEO friendly. And the other one is that this text area is quite small. I want it to be 100% of the size. So back to the dashboard. And first we're going to change the size, okay? This is going to be changed from the display settings tab. We're going to scroll down. And first off, options per row, just one. And we're going to use a grid layout, yes and it's going to be 100% width. So now that we fixed that, we're going to go to the conditional logic tab. What we're going to do is create a rule so that the text area is hidden if the CO option is not selected, but it's visible as an option if the CO option is selected. So set conditions to show or hide this set of options yes we're going to show this set of options if all of these rules match and the rule is going to be that the co option yes make it friendly is selected save 
Save again. Back to the site, refresh. So I don't have the option selected yet, so I don't have the text area. If I select the option, we have a visible text area where I can type anything I want to. And it's a hundred percent width. Let's add the other two atoms back to the dashboard. Add option. We had date. So it was like a date picker. Um, I'm not going to use a title here. I'm going to use a label. And the label is going to be delivery date. Let's add a tool tip. Choose a delivery date. I'm going to set this as required. I'm going to leave the date format as it is. Day, month, year. The start year is going to be 2021 and year same. Default date, I'm going to choose current date. No limit here and required again. Save. Save. Back to the side. Refresh. And now we have the date add-on. We have the label delivery date. The tooltip choose a delivery date and we can choose any date we want to and we can go any further than this because i set the end year to be 2021 so back to the dashboard for the last add-on add option and the last one was file upload I'm not going to use the title, I'm going to use a label. The label is going to be article image. Let's add a tooltip. Upload your image. Let's go to settings. Let's do the same thing we did for the text area. Let's set it up to be options per row one use a grid layout instead of 100 percent i'm going to set this to 50 percent save save refresh now if i click here you'll see that this is a hundred percent width and this one is 50 okay it's half of it now I have my tooltip here, upload your image, my label, article image. This is something that I set up in my dashboard, drop files here, and I have a text here, browse, to click on and add my image. If I go back to the dashboard, to general settings, general options, scroll down, Here are the upload options. The text to show is drop files here, as you have just seen. Textual browse. I'm going to change this to button upload. Save options. Back to the site. Refresh. And now I have a button here. One last thing, this price does not increase when I select something that has an extra fee or that increases the base price of the product. It remains the same. Let's change that. We're still in the general settings tab, general options. Change the product base price with the calculated total. Yes. Save options. Back to the site. Refresh. And if I selected this one, now the price is changing. So let's add all of these to the card. Yes, keyword. 
delivery date 28 I will upload an image right here here is my product price my total options and my order total and here the order total add to cart view cart and there i have the options that i selected i have the length of article the ceo options my keyword delivery date and i have the name of the image that i added of course i will be able to see it afterwards in my account as a customer and the admin will be able to see it in the order detail okay guys so that was it for our video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video